um hey Taurus this is going to be for Taurus who feel like their soul is tied to another person's soul so if that's you you have Taurus in your chart or you're born under the sign of Taurus or your Taurus cross watcher it might resonate everything might be vice versa but I feel like both people with the five of pentacles being a mutual energy both people feel left out both people miss each other if you're not around this person they miss you if you are around this person they're missing something okay both people could be missing how things used to be um be one both people could be wanting more money both people could be feeling some type of lack or insecure so if this is for you you want a fresh start with them or more adventure with them or a new beginning with them you're either, either reminiscing about them if you're not around them. You could be over romanticizing the past. Like only thinking about all the good. Or you could only be thinking about the bad. One or the other. Um, because this girl in the water she's looking at don't look nothing like her. She's blonde. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you miss somebody. You only think about the good stuff. Or maybe the bad stuff. I don't know. So, your issue with them is, it could be that they're standoffish, they act like they're disconnected from you, or you could feel like they're focused on other things or other options besides you, or you could feel like they haven't chosen you exclusively. So, if that matched you, I'm going to clarify their energy towards you, but they are watching you. With the Page of Swords, trying to gather some type of information, some type of way. Can you clarify this person's energy towards Taurus, please? I feel like that was stupid loud. Hold on. Oh, yeah, because they don't want to let it go. Let me see. Are all these reversed? Yeah, so the whole deck is reversed, so I'm going to flip them over. So, if you ended things with them, that's why they're watching you, because they want to see if you are really done with them. Like, they're trying to see if shit is really over, but obviously it's something that they can't let go of because they watch you. Or they could feel like you watch them because everything could be vice versa. Um, how they feel towards you is the Ten of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So they feel like it would be too hard for them to get what they want from the situation. Or they could feel like it's too much work. Or with the Two of Swords being at the bottom, it's like they don't know how to balance love with all their other responsibilities. Or balance you with their other responsibilities, whatever they are. It could be work. Or it could be hell of other things that they trying to balance or that they are responsible for um i'm gonna go more into how they see you after this spread but their issues the two of pentacles and seven of pentacles so it's more like her hands are like like i don't know like she they don't know what it is you want from them or how to approach the situation or what they need to do to make things grow with you they don't know it's a very indecisive energy or that's where they are with you and i feel like this person has other shit like a lot of other stuff going on that they're trying to balance or figure out or Let me see. From the animal oracle. How does this person see Taurus? And how does Taurus see this person? That's just a lot. It's just a lot. I don't know which one is which. Okay. Let me see. How does this person see Taurus? Page of 
patient. So you're somebody who has been persistent with them or either has been patient when it comes to getting with what you want from them. So you could have known this person a long time before y'all were intimate, if y'all ever were intimate, or um, they see you as somebody who y'all can have a genuine friendship before, like romance or love or lust or whatever. It's like a very... They see you as a very calming person to be around. Someone genuine, loyal. They definitely see you as loyal. Like, if you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. That's how this person sees you. Um, The whole wrong patience. Create a place in nature. No, create a place in nature, stillness and be renewed take time alone to find balance step confidently towards your purpose patience will bring you rewards keep in mind if you see the cards and anything else comes to mind you see here feel something else go with your own intuition before mine how does Tori see this person let's see the unicorn so you feel like they're special. You could feel like this person is gifted in some type of way. Or you just feel very mad. And or you could just feel very magical around them. They could give you butterflies. Because these, even though the card is unicorn, the butterflies are standing out to me too. I feel like the unicorn is saying that you see them as very unique, pretty much. Yeah, dog friend at the bottom. So you and this person to be... To have a genuine friendship or one or the other person feels like somebody is very loyal or has shown their loyalty in the past or now so what is this person's most likely energy and actions towards Taurus over the next two weeks Taurus 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 Okay, so I decided to pause your video real quick, but let me see what is this person's most likely energy and actions towards y'all over the next two weeks. After whenever you see this, if it resonates with you, I get 10 cards for Taurus's person and their energy and actions towards Taurus. feelings they have the blues right now with the five of cups so they're disappointed at the amount of progress or lack of progress when it comes to this connection justice so wanting to make things right or be fair, this person's energy is towards you. I feel like this person feels like you are entertaining other people or another person. Keep in mind, everything could be vice versa, but I definitely feel like it's this person's energy towards you. And they feel like that could be the reason why you're not investing in them because you give other people or another person a chance before them. Or you just entertain a bunch of different people. That's for some of y'all. But either way, they're indecisive about how... They don't know how to get what they want from you. What they want from you is wish fulfillment. This is how this person sees you with the nine of cups being right under the two of swords it's like see how they're looking at the diamond like it's one in the million like this lady or being is looking at the diamond like it's one in a million so they could daydream about you a lot or really dream about you a lot but um they're not only just they're not only physically attracted to you, 
it's also like a because cups represent emotion so they look at you as somebody who's very sweet and very genuine okay I don't know if this person flirted with you in the past or gave you some sort of signs that they were interested in you or felt like you were attractive or wanted to see if things could work between you and them. They either said it or they were giving you that type of energy before. But right now I feel like this person is focused on some type of goal. They could be traveling, they could be trying to move, like relocate, or they could be long distance or just feel, it could have been a long time since you two like connected or been around each other because it's some type of distance that they feel when it comes to you. And they're also trying to focus on getting something for themselves that will make them feel more successful. So, in the near future, I don't feel like this person is going to take much action towards you. Because they, they, they are focused on money. I don't know if that's what they do to keep themselves from feeling emotion or for, for, to keep themselves from um, longing for things. that they, they pretty much are the type of person who focus on the things that they can change. And they kind of try to do that and ignore the things that they can't really change. And because they're in the two of swords with y'all, I think they came out with their other spirit too. They don't know what to do or what to choose or how to get what they want with you. So they focus on their money because it's a lot of pentacles here. This is about them being goal oriented and trying to be level headed with justice being here too. Yeah. So this is what they're hoping for. So this person wants to stay to themselves. They want to do some type of evolving or like dream chasing with the chariot and the hermit. And they're trying to have tunnel vision as well. I don't feel like they're going to make any more effort than they are now with the five of pentacles keep in mind the energies can shift and change because we all have free will but if everyone continues to act the way they are now like i don't feel like they're gonna show up in a way much different than they are now within the next two weeks because the five of pentacles is pretty much about somebody still feeling like they want more or this could also be about them having a lot of insecurities or trying to like Focus on making more money so they don't run out. So they can have the things that they want and create a life that they want with the five of pentacles. It's a five in the beginning and at the end. So it's some sort of shift happening. Whether in this per person's life or in this connection. I don't know. But let me see. What is Taurus advice when it comes to this person? Always prepared. So, there's a very action oriented energy with the squirrel. The squirrel is always busy. We got magic. It's about manifesting something that you want. It says you are an, ex you are an expert. What, girl? You are an expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. So, I feel like you could be telling you pretty much to focus on other things like they're doing. Focusing on things you can change. The things you want to manifest for yourself. The things that make you feel happy, successful, magical, inspired. All those good things. So, let me see. This is for the next two weeks, but okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do the same reading in like two weeks for y'all, so we'll see. 
If this is for you, you will know. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Peace.